Hello everyone. So I just wanted to make a quick video um, to help us with our calculations of range when using a spreadsheet. I figured out how to do it. <laughs> so um, I just want to share it to share it with you so that you um, also know how to do it. And I think it's a little bit easier for me to show you visually um, rather than you know, when I just talk about it in class, or if I were just trying to email it out, typing it out, I think like really showing it um, would be a little bit more helpful. So here we are. So when you're in your spreadsheet, um, you've already calculated your average. And I know I have this, um, this says range here, but this was my annual or actual calculations, right? So pay attention to the function um, bar, which is right up here, when I scroll over. You see how those numbers are different from the letters, right? From each other, right? So this one says E2 minus E8, and this one says FI, F9 minus F2. That's all fine and dandy, and that is a way to do it. But if you, um, there is a way to calculate the range without having to manually do it, if that makes sense. So, you're going to have, um, you're going to make a row. I'll just say calculated range just for funsies. And in that open cell, you're going to type equals um, parentheses max. Wait, no, sorry. Yeah, parentheses max parentheses. And then you select by clicking and dragging the values that you want the software to determine the max of close parentheses, minus, min, open parentheses, and you're going to select the same exact row, or same exact column, excuse me, close parentheses, and close parentheses one more time. So you're just, you're extra closing stuff, okay? So we're taking our maximum value that the spreadsheet determines, minus the minimum value, which again, your spreadsheet determines, and you just click enter, and it does the calculation for you. See that? So then all you have to do, you don't have to retype that in every single time. Um, you just move your mouse around until you go to the bottom right corner of the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the cell and you just click and drag to the right, do, 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 if it wants to go all the way over for me and do it that way. And see, there's a, there's, this is awesome, right? Because my dumb eyeballs didn't even recognize that there was, um, or I didn't see that there was a cell that was 59, even though I input it, but you know, there's so many numbers going on here that I missed it. So that's human error. So using the spreadsheet to do that, to calculate the range for you, um, releases that human error or, uh, uh gives away to that human error. So, I hope that that was helpful. Reach out if you need any um, further assistance with that, and I'm more than happy to do that help for you or to help you. Okay, thanks so much for watching.